Future Faye here, listen to me. Okay, listen, I had recorded this video, was ready to do the voiceover and going on about my business, but I just had to come on and let y'all see this live in action. Honey, this made me miss my hair. If you're new here, what's up? But I just recently did a big chop, but this is so beautiful and it looks so real. Listen to, come here. It looks so realistic that it made me miss my hair. Now the purpose of this uh, particular unit, I'm gonna get to it and all the, the details and all that in the video, but again, it's from Her Given Hair. It's one of their versatile units. I believe it's called a five in one. It's meant to do some of everything or whatever, but it, I'm going off script, but listen, I genuinely love this unit so much. Usually when I wear a unit, it's to escape my hair and to become somebody else. You know, listen, sometimes you guys, you look. That was gonna go real, real rated on. But anyway, sometimes I like to escape and become somebody else. So usually I get a different color, a curl pattern or something like that. But this looks so real. You could really believe it came out of my scalp. And I cannot say enough about the quality of the hair. I've even said in vlogs, there, are, there's tears when it comes to hair. And when it comes to naturally curly hair, her giving hair is literally top two and she ain't number two. This is fire. So anyway, I did a long introduction. They ain't paid me to say none of that. I'm telling you from the heart, this unit is fire. So with that being said, shout out to her giving hair for sending me this unit. Let me give y'all all the details and show you all the things that it is capable of. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. All right, so this is actually the real introduction that was supposed to be like the boom, bang, bow to bring y'all into the situation. But this is the unit. Again, this is from Her Given Hair and I'm gonna give you all the details and all of that because honey, I can't say enough how much I love this unit. Okay, so let me be professional. Her Given Hair, I told y'all before, top two ain't number two. They are amazing. So as far as some of the things they have to offer, they give you instruction booklets on how to take care of the hair and get as much longevity as you can. Longevity, I should say. Anyway, they have headbands and stuff like that. But then of course, the star of the show is the wig. This is the three and one half wig. This is the construction of it. No lace, no glue, none of that. Uh, pretty much has four way combs and then a drawstring attachment in the back. So if you want to do a ponytail, you can. Of course, I can't really do a ponytail right now because I did just cut off all my hair. I don't have nothing to pony or tail. So I have to do the best I can as far as in the, uh, styles that I'm gonna do. So what I like to do, anytime I get a curly unit, I have to wash it first. It just brings the curls back to life. It's something about the uniformity of like when it first come out of the package. It did look a little artificial, it looks cute, but it, it doesn't give real scalp. So I just go ahead and I wash it. And then while, um, I'm waiting on this dry. I did go ahead and set my hair as far as doing a middle part and combing it down. Now again, I'm a little struggle bust because y'all know I just cut my hair off so I'm going to do the best I can but I'm going to show you what I did. So of course, once you set your hair, put on a wig cap and then I secure the actual unit with the combs. Now again, it does have four combs. I put one in the front, two on the sides, one in the back and then I did use the drawstring attachment and then also for additional security just so I could feel more comfortable, I did put some pins around the perimeter and the first style I'm gonna do is the OG headband wig honey just go ahead put that half wig on and put your headband on and then what I try to do is go ahead and fluff out the curls I like a lot of volume I don't like my hair to be really really flat so I, right there I have the kaleidoscope foaming mousse or style or whatever they want to call it and I'm putting that on the hair just to give it a little hole and then also to volumize my hair so I just pretty much take my fingers and ran it through it and then once it dry it literally dry like that the curls are so beautiful, so soft, so bouncy. I, child, you see the little spring at the top? The thing was given. So that was the first style I did was of course the simple headband wig. So then another alternative is to actually use your leave out. Now I'm gonna tell you, I did make a mistake and I'm gonna leave it in the video so that you can learn from it too. Um, but I did go ahead and correct it as well. Um, as far as the curl pattern of the wig, it is considered 3C to 4A. Um, it's supposed to be a very convenient uni unit. So you'd like if those of us that don't want to do the lace, the glue and all of that, you can use it any type of way without doing any of that. It's meant to protect your edges as well because you don't have to do all the extra manipulation. Um, and you can style it multiple ways. So pretty much it's for convenience as well as versatility with the styling. So here is where I made the mistake. Y'all know I got a look, yeah, I got a little kink to my core. And so I was using a foaming mousse to shingle my leave out. That is not a good choice for me. This is what it dried up like, mm -hmm, no. So what I did do is go get some Eco Styler gel and that is what it dried up like. And so I, I feel like if you are a more of a type four or a curly girl, I mean, coily I should say, use a gel. 
So what I did after the gel of my leave out dry was I put the unit back on, but what I did for blending purposes is I pulled a lot of the hair to the front like a heavy bang or a fringe. So you'll kind of see right here, I'm just installing the wig per usual with the combs and then I start to shape the hair. And as I'm shaping the hair, I'm pulling it to the front so that I don't have to worry about my leave out popping out or whatever. So yeah, see, yeah, tuck the thing on in there and then I make it so heavy that once it is all in the front, like I pull a lot to the front. I don't have to worry about it blowing back because it's so heavy in the front. Y'all see how it's like hanging in my face? That is a really good way to do a blend. And that is what it looks like. If you bring the hair to the front, it will go ahead and blend your leave out. And that is style number two. Having a little bit of leave out for your wash and go. And then I'm gonna get into number three. It's kind of like a wash and go, but there is no leave out. So I'm gonna use all of the combs again, all four, all of the brown and perimeter. Definitely use a pin for additional security. Uh, I forgot to do it for right here. But I was, I'm honey, I was at home. I was just feeling like I didn't need to do all that. But anyway, why am I telling you my business? Anyway, this is what we're gonna do. It's pretty much just kind of like a halo headband. So I pulled a little bit of hair from the side and I started two strand twisting it. And that brought attention to me again to just how beautiful the curls was. It was just so bouncy and springy and soft. Like the hair itself, I cannot say enough about the quality of the hair is absolutely beautiful. Did not come with any strange smells. It was no like crazy split ends or anything like that. This was really, really good. So anyway, after I installed one twist, I did go ahead and and swing it around my head and wear it like a headband and I'm going to use a pen to secure it. Don't judge my armpits. I had just shaved a couple days ago and child, listen, I've been taking a prenatal. I'm not pregnant so don't get excited but I've been taking prenatals to help my hair grow and I was like, oh child, you, you, you forgot to touch up. But anyway, go to the other side and make another two strand. They gonna be so sick of me and be like, I ain't working today girl no more. But anyway, do another halo ponytail, uh, not ponytail, headband. So after you do the other two strand twist, take a pen and push it right in the front for security and then I'm gonna bring you up close again this looks so realistic because first of all the texture is very very similar to my own natural hair texture and then with me having the front of my hair out it just blends so beautifully like seriously i cannot say enough about this hair and then again when you bring it in it doesn't look like a wig at all it doesn't look like a wig you wouldn't know unless i told you and so that is some of the things that this is capable of anything you could do with your own natural wash and go you can do with this unit honey braid it up twist it up all of that do the two strands all of that but this is such a versatile unit and you don't have to worry about damaging your edges or anything like that so shout out to her giving hair y'all make sure y'all click the link in the description box Check out everything they have to offer and if y'all have any questions leave me down below i love y'all maki dada and i'm out of here baby that hurt look good